Hi. It's a bad time. I mean, oh, I know, I know, it's a terrible time. I just, um, how, how are you doing? I, I heard what happened. How's your arm? Oh, I'll live. Oh God, I'm sorry. I I meant, you know, I mean, do you oh. need something? Yes. Um. Yeah, your signature. I'm I'm back at work, and I thought I would just save you a trip to the office. Figured it might be a little soon. Was I wrong? You know what? You know what? This was a bad idea. I'm sorry. I'll go. I'll go. And you can fire me later. Uh, uh, you're right. I'm... I'm not ready. Teams later. Leave a message. Kendall, it's me. I'm sorry about before. It was a mistake for me to come over and just bring it on you that I'm moving in with Ryan. I just... I feel like everything I do is wrong, and I just want to make things right. So, please, please call me back. I woke up this morning determined to go to work. Try to make things go back to normal, or whatever that is. But every time I walk out that door, I just, I just can't. One of the hardest parts, isn't it? What is? Being slammed with reminders everywhere you turn. Can't even open a closet without seeing him, smelling him. I'm so sorry, Kendall. Thank you. And really, if there's anything that I can do at all to help, if, if you think of anything that needs to be done at Fusion, you just call me, email me. I'll make sure that it gets taken care of right away, OK? Day or night. Okay, let's not go overboard. Honestly, I could use the distraction. Right. I'm sorry for what you're going through, too. I know it couldn't have been easy losing Ryan like that. Yeah, hey, people go through breakups all the time. It's nothing compared with what you're... Are you... Are you okay? You, you look a little pale. You're pregnant. I'm fine. You got shot. I think maybe maybe you should go get checked out. I actually have an appointment in a little while, so. Great, okay, well then I'll drive. No, you don't have to do that. No, I know, I know, I want to. Besides, I have an errand to run at the hospital. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me just grab my stuff. Yeah. the slack you've been picking up at Fusion, it's the least I can do. You feel okay? Yeah, you too. Thanks. Uh, hi, um, I'm Madison North. I have an appointment with the OBGYN. Looks like the doctor's delayed. Hey! Hi, Melissa. What are you doing here? I was hoping to catch Frankie on a break. Madison is a dear friend of ours. Is there any way you could get her in a little sooner? She was just released after a gunshot wound, and we wouldn't want to take any chances. I'm sorry, did you did you want to see the surgeon or the OBGYN? Um, the OBGYN. Can I'm sure the doctor's going to see you, like, in any minute. Hey, you don't have to pretend. OK. Wait, what am I pretending about again? Wait, Frankie didn't tell you? Oh. Oh. Tell me what, Madison? I'm pregnant. Stop. Wish I could, but it's true. Ryan? Who else? Well, I don't know. I'm just asking. Wow. I could wait with you if you want. I want. 
I mean, if, if you don't have anywhere else to be. No. I'm all yours. I hoped and prayed that you would be... I can't tell Ryan. Not yet. Not until I know what I'm going to do. Any ideas? None. Which is completely crazy considering it's all I've been thinking about. Part of me just doesn't even feel like it's real. How do you feel? A little bit of morning sickness and some dizzy spells. Might as well be a cold. Then you lucked out on the morning sickness. I had it pretty brutal. Oh my God. Here you are being so nice to me and I wasn't even thinking about your baby. It's that. fine. No, I, I, I don't even know what to apologize for Madison. first. The fact that I made you lose your baby or, or that I'm making you sit here listen to me go on about whether or not I want to keep mine. It's in our past. I mean, the thing is, I, you know, I love children. You and Emma got along real well, huh? She's great. And, and Ryan is such a great father, you know? He's patient and loving and loves spending time with his kids. It's, it's everything that I never had. If you keep this baby, you're gonna tell him, right? I can't even, I, I don't know. Have you ever thought that he could help you decide? I go back and forth about it all the time. Tell him, don't tell him, maybe later, maybe never. Sounds exhausting. He would do all the right things, say all the right things. It would be awful. He wouldn't. Ryan and Greenlee just got back together. Greenlee's moved in with him. He loves her, not me. What? You're still in love with him. I so wish I weren't. Dr. Cantor, the OBGYN, will be ready for you in 15 minutes. Thanks, Melissa. Just let me know when the doctor's ready to see you. Don't tell me congratulations are in order. No, um, just my, you know, yearly checkup. Hi. Hi. Everything okay with your arm? Oh, yeah, I was just here looking for Bianca, actually. Um, thought she might be here on some Miranda Center business. Oh, I should get going. Yeah. I feel like I should give you my kidney or something. <laughs> yeah, I'll remember that in case I ever need one. Oh, thank you so much for covering for me. And, and for staying, for everything. I could go in with you if you want. You know, I think I need to do it on my own. Let me know how it goes. I will. I see myself. No cause for concern. Everything looks fine. That's good, right? I'm sorry. Obviously, that's good. So, uh, how far along am I? Can't be more than two months. Your baby's measuring at about seven weeks. My baby. <laughs>